Acharya, and today's lecture is going to be on Simon's favorite factum trick. So, what is Simon's favorite factum trick? As the name suggests, it is a factum trick which can be very helpful when dealing with two variables. The general statement is xy plus xj plus yk plus jk is equal to x plus k times y plus j. The adding of the jk constant to be able to factor is referred to as completing the rectangle rather than the common analogy of completing the square. Usually the coefficient on the xy term is 1, but sometimes it's greater than 1 which makes the factoring a little bit more com complex. Simon's favorite factoring trick is best taught using example problems. We will be going through three of them. The first one is 2000 AMC 12 number 6. Two prime numbers between 4 and 18 are chosen. When the sum is subtracted from the product, which of the following numbers could be obtained? A, 22, B, 60, C, 119, D, 194, and E, 231. Let P and Q be the two prime numbers that are chosen. Then we get P, Q, minus P, minus Q. Using Simon's favorite factoring trick, we can factor the expression into p minus 1 times q minus 1 minus 1 because of the extra one we get when we get when we multiply negative 1 squared. And noticing that 1 less than 13 minus 1 times 11 minus 1 is 120 minus 1 equals to 119, we see that our answer is c119. This is a basic application of Simon's favorite factoring trick, and after you get the factoring down, it's just easy trial and error. And this is easy because the coefficient on the pq term is 1 and the coefficients on the p and q's are only 1 as well negative 1 to be exact example problem number 2 1997 amy number 3 sarah intended to multiply a two digit number and a three digit number but she left out the multiplication sign and simply placed the two digit number to the left of the three digit number thereby forming a five digit number this number is exactly 9 times the product Sarah could have obtained. What is the sum of the 2-digit number and the 3-digit number? So we let x be the 2-digit number and we let y be the 3-digit number. Putting together the given, we have 1000x plus y is equal to 9xy. Because x, the 2-digit number x becomes a thousand, uh, becomes a thousand when putting it to the left of the 3-digit number, and the 3-digit number stays the same which is equal to 9 times the product of the original two numbers. Putting, putting the variables on one side, we get 9xy minus 1000x minus y is equal to 0. Using Simon's favorite factoring trick, this factors to 9x minus 1 times y minus 1000 over 9, which is equal to 1000 over 9. This is the case because there's a coefficient on the xy term 9. And we're putting the coefficient on the x term when factoring. So we divide the x term by 9 and we put it with the y to get our factors. We multiply 9 by both sides to simplify the equation and we get 9x minus 1 times 9y minus 1000 is equal to 1000. Since 89 is less than 9x minus 1, which is less than 890 because x is a two digit number, we can use trial and error on factors of 1000. If 9x minus 1 is equal to 100, we get a non-integer for the y value. But if 9x minus 1 is equal to 125, we get x is equal to 14 and y is equal to 112, which satisfies the conditions. Hence, the answer is 112 plus 14, which is equal to 126. Our last example problem will be 2008 AMC 12B number 16. So a rectangular floor measures A by B feet, where A and B are positive integers with B greater than A. An artist paints a rectangle on the floor with the sides of the rectangle parallel to the sides of the floor. The unpainted part of the floor forms a border with one foot around the painted rectangle and occupies half of the area of the entire floor. How many possibilities are there for the ordered pair AB? So the area of the whole rectangle is AB, and the inner painted part has an area of A minus 2 times B minus 2 because of the one width border, one foot width border. It is also given that the area of the whole rectangle is twice the painted part. So AB is equal to 2 times A minus 2 times B minus 2, which is equal to 2AB minus 4A minus 4B plus 8. 
Bringing all variables to one side, we get 0 is equal to AB minus 4A minus 4B plus 8. We add 8 to both sides because minus 4 times minus 4 is 16, and then it becomes a classic form of Simon's favorite factoring trick. So 8 is equal to AB minus 4A minus 4B plus 16 equal to A minus 4 times B minus 4. Since B is greater than A, that means B minus 4 is also greater than A minus 4. This means the only possible solutions are when B minus 4 is equal to 8 and when B minus 4 is equal to 4. No other solutions can happen. This gives our answer of two possible ordered pairs of AB. On the actual AMC 12B, they give you uh, answer choices and one of the answer choices here was one two and four so you could have easily overcounted if you didn't see the inequality so always remember to read the whole question thank you for watching this lecture hope you enjoyed it join the cncm discord or visit our website which can both be found in the description the organization has a lot of different things to offer such as POTD's problem of the days, lectures such as this one that you just watched, and even in-person competitions. They're currently limited to the state of North Carolina, but we're looking to expand soon. Also remember, you don't have to be in North Carolina to join the Discord. Stay safe, wash your hands, and ration your toilet paper during these crazy times, and make sure to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of May. Thanks.